Hello, I'm Dr. Marla Shapiro, Professor in the Department of Family and Community Medicine at the University of Toronto, and I sit on the Board of Trustees for the North American Menopause Society. Joining me today is the Executive Director of the North American Menopause Society, Dr. Joanne Pinkerton, who's also the Director of Midlife Health Division and Centre at the University of Virginia Health Centre in Charlottesville, Virginia. So, if I'm a woman in and around the menopause, and I want to have something natural, and I want to have something bioidentical, and I'm going to have something that's compounded just for me, how would you respond to that? So I would say that there's a lot of myths and celebrity endorsements telling you that there's a specific product that's safe and effective and has no risks and is made by a compounding pharmacy. But it's natural is the response that we usually get. So natural means the same as what your body makes, and that's estradiol, progesterone, and those are, are products that we have government approved. So the beauty now is that if a woman wants a natural product, she can go to her provider and get a prescription written for a government approved bioidentical hormone therapy dosed to match what her needs are and for what her indication is. Do you need it for hot flushes? Do you need it for bone loss? What type of dose? What are your unique risks? We have a government approved therapy for you. But if I go to my doctor and they do a test in my saliva, can't they make something that's natural just for me? Wouldn't that be better? It's a wonderful idea, but there's actually no science behind it. And so salivary testing costs a lot of money, but it doesn't actually help us know what's better or safer. And the important thing for women to know is that there's some really unique risks about compounding. They're not safe and better, they're actually riskier because you don't know exactly what you're getting. The pharmacist does their best, they're trying to make it, but it's not government approved or regulated. So there might be a risk of getting too much or too little estrogen or too much or too little progesterone. If you get too much estrogen and too little progesterone, you have an increased risk for uterine cancer. And that's what we're seeing, that there's more reports of uterine cancer. Or about the 64 women who died from the contaminated intrathecal steroids because there weren't using sterile practices. So when a woman wants something that's compounded, she needs to understand that she's asking her provider to do something that's not the best or the safest for her. So do we know that compounded products run these differences? How do, how do we know? Have they been looked at or tested and that tells me that my compounded product may not be exactly what I thought it was? So Moore Magazine took 12 prescriptions and they sent them to a lab and tested. They all were written for the same dose, but the dose of estrogen varied from 59 to 259% of estradiol, whereas there was only 60% of progesterone. Too much estrogen, not enough progesterone. The woman didn't know what she was getting. The doctor didn't know what was being given. So that's where those unique risks come from. The women feel like it's safer and they want it, but it's not fair to the patient to give her something that's not the best thing for her. But many years ago, there was a study that showed hormones were dangerous. And for many women in the community, that's where it starts, that's where it ends, and then bioidentical movement wedged in there. So the message for NAMS for these women who I think are confused and somehow think that if I get something natural, it's safer? So I want to say that we now know that hormone therapy is safe and effective for women who are under 60, close to menopause, so you can use hormone therapy safely. And you should ask for a government-approved product. You deserve to have the best. And I think that's an important message for all of us to know, both as consumers and the physicians who prescribe. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome.